Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this presentation. Uh, today, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, reproducible and uh, maintainable embedded Linux uh, named DB. Uh, I've uh, already made uh, several presentations uh, in the Linux conference in Japan. Uh, so uh, in this presentation, I'd, I'd like to explain uh, some abstract of the DB and uh, uh, also uh, new features about it. Uh, this project uh, is uh, called uh, Shared Embedded Linux Distribution, uh, which is one of the activities of the uh, C Working Group uh, project. And the goal of the project is to create an in industry-supported distribution uh, and uh, provide the long-term maintenance. Um, please visit uh, this web page uh, for more details uh, about the project. Then uh, today's uh, Linux is uh, running on uh, a lot of uh, many kind of uh, embedded systems, including the civil infrastructure. Then uh, when we choose uh, the, a distribution for such system, uh, we need to consider uh, the number of supported packages uh, and their versions, uh, supported hardware, and the stabilities, and so on. In our case, uh, we want to uh, make custom embedded Linux environments, and uh, we need uh, wider uh, hardware support and stability and long-term support and customizable build system. Uh, especially uh, long-term support uh, is the uh, most important thing uh, because the most products uh, in the civil infrastructure require over 10 years uh, support. And our solution is to combine the Yoct Project Pokey build system and Debian source code, with MetaDebian. And MetaDebian uh, generates uh, a reference distribution named uh, Debian. Uh, this is the definition of the terms, and MetaDebian meta is a uh, layer uh, for a Pocky build system. And this is uh, uh, separated from the co uh, core components of the Yoct project uh, named OpenEmeric Core and uh, other layers. Also, it allows the cross buildings, uh, Linux images. Uh, using the Debian source code. And the uh, source code is available on the GitHub. And uh, Debian uh, Debi is a reference distribution uh, that is built uh, with Pocky and MetaDebian. The name of Debian is, uh, comes from uh, Debian and Pocky. Uh, and it also uh, uh, comes from the Debian like. Oh. Debian is uh, built from the Debian source, but in the binary package level, uh, Debian is Debian is uh, different. So we should uh, call it uh, the Debian like. Uh, this is uh, uh, default structure of the Pokey build system. The Pokey fetches uh, so, uh, up upstream source code and uh, build the Linux images uh, for the target hardware. Then 
uh, when we use uh, MetaDebian, enable the MetaDebian with Pocky, uh, Pocky fetches the uh, Debian uh, source, source code uh, instead. Then uh, build uh, the Linux image uh, called uh, Davy for the target hardware uh, by the same way. Uh, this is the target version of Debian. Uh, the target version of uh, the Debian source code is uh, version 8, uh, JC country. And uh, supported Yoke project version is uh, 2.0 stable and 2.2 uh, development version. Then the purpose of Debian is to satisfy our needs, uh, especially uh, to provide the stability and uh, long-term support uh, with uh, Debian stable release and uh, long-term support. And also we should uh, contribute to the upstream project, including the Debian LTS. When we create recipes uh, for Debian, uh, basically we follow the Debian's packaging rules. Uh, in other words, use the same uh, commands and options in configure and compile process, and the same install passes and binary package name and dependencies as Debian. But uh, as you know, a Debian rules, uh, the core, core component of the Debian packages uh, assumes uh, the native build. Uh, but a Debian, uh, sorry, uh, Debian uh, is cross-compiled from a Debian, a Debian source code. So we cannot execute the Debian rules directly. Instead, uh, we need to uh, implement the configure and compile commands ourselves. And uh, also sometimes I, we need to add uh, some patches uh, for supporting uh, cross-compile. And also uh, Debian is uh, intended to uh, not only uh, embed a system, but also the uh, desktop PC and the servers. So uh, sometimes uh, we customize for embedded, uh, customize uh, some settings uh, for the embedded system if necessary. For example, the remove uh, unneeded features, uh, unneeded dependency and packages. Uh, for example, the, um, some packages uh, generate uh, UDEP packages, that is for only for the Debian installer. Uh, uh, in such case, uh, we don't need to generate, uh, we need to take care uh, about such packages. And about the details of the poli uh, this policy uh, is written in the, my old slides. So if you want, uh, please refer to uh, this information. So from this slide, I'd like to uh, explain how to uh, build uh, DB and uh, run uh, it on the QM environment. And also explain uh, how to uh, generate the SDK and cross compile the applica your applications uh, and run it on QM. The first, uh, simply uh, download uh, Pocky. And uh, also download the MetaDebian uh, into the uh, Pocky directory. Uh, please note that the uh, red circle means the MetaDebian specific steps. And second, uh, we need to modify a bit. Uh, change the default configuration by uh, exporting the template, uh, 
sorry, uh, setting the template conf variable to the native metadebian uh, slash conf. Uh, this means uh, the, the core uh, configuration files are located on the, this directory. Then uh, run the startup script uh, that is provided by the Poki. After these settings, uh, we can uh, run bpake. In this case, uh, uh, generate a root file system and kernel. And the built uh, binaries images uh, located on this directory uh, in the case of the QM x86. The finalities uh, run kernel and the QM, uh, sorry, uh, kernel and root file system on the QM environment uh, with uh, run QM uh, command uh, that is also provided the uh, key. And currently, uh, in total, the five uh, architectures, QM architectures, are supported. The next. Uh, build SDK by uh, this command, uh, bitbake meta tool chain. And output is uh, generated to, uh, in the, this directory. And this file, this script is just a self-extracting self script. So uh, you can easily install the SDK into your host system uh, just by running uh, this script. Then this is the uh, uh, simplest application and uh, make file. <coughs> and uh, for such uh, simple application, uh, we just need to export SDK environment variables uh, by this command and then make. Then you can get uh, uh, cross-compiled uh, hello world. <coughs> but, uh, the required settings uh, to uh, compile the application is depend on the uh, implementation of the application. So please refer to uh, the React project manual uh, for more details uh, to how to uh, cross compile the application. The final is uh, copies the uh, built binary to the file system image and then run uh, on the QM environment. So very simple steps. And here are the uh, new features of the DB about uh, the Yoke project. Uh, supported version is upgraded to the 2.2 development version. Uh, but kernel, uh, the supported version is uh, also upgraded to the 4.4 .4 LTS and 4.1 LTS. Uh, the uh, latest version of the late LTS and LTSI. Also, uh, the several new recipes and uh, some target machines uh, newly uh, supported. <coughs> and uh, some new useful features are supported. Uh, the first one is uh, package management with DPKG and ABT. Uh, the second one is uh, uh, tag based source code fetch and build. Uh, this function is uh, this is a, a function to rebuild the Linux image uh, that are built at the specific time, the old release. And uh, as the last one is the summary generation. This is a function to generate some information of the packages that is included in the generated root file system and SDK. <coughs> So from this slide, I'd like to uh, talk about uh, these features uh, in the later slide. 
first, uh, I'd like to talk about the t package management. Uh, this feature is uh, by default available in the Open Embedded Core uh, from the beginning. And we also uh, made it available in the Meta Debian layer. But uh, by default, uh, the, this feature is disabled. Uh, so uh, we need to add uh, the, uh, this uh, definition uh, into our local.conf to uh, use the package management. When we enable uh, the diff features, uh, first uh, we can simply add the binary packages into runtime environment. Uh, for example, uh, sometimes uh, temporarily, uh, we want to install and uninstall some packages for system evaluation. And sometimes installed, want to install the debug packages for some debugging purposes. And second, uh, we can upgrade packages without uh, stopping the system. And also, uh, uh, we can install upgrades that packages uh, without uh, building, installing the root file system again. Um, building and uh, uh, upgrading the root file system in the embedded system sometimes takes time. Uh, so this kind of feature is uh, useful for updating uh, each package and quickly. This is a build flow of the Pokey. Each recipe uh, fits the source code and build and generate uh, uh, some binary packages, uh, such as uh, dev package. And uh, root file system recipes uh, generate the root file system with, uh, by uh, installing the dev uh, packages uh, with up to get install. But by default, uh, there is no data for controlling the binary package, such binary packages in the root file system. If we enable the package management feature, uh, root file system uh, keeps the data for controlling the binary packages and uh, we can uh, dynamically install, upgrade uh, the, uh, the binary packages from uh, the package pool on the build environment. In this case, uh, the apt repositories, the package pool, need to be published uh, by the web server. With this flow, even if uh, we update uh, some recipes or source code uh, in MetaDebian, uh, we can install or upgrade uh, the binary packages without uh, re uh, installing uh, the root file system again. Next, uh, I explain about uh, tag-based source code fetch and build function. <coughs> By default, uh, MetaDebian doesn't have the reproducibilities. In other words, uh, it cannot reproduce a uh, root file system and SDK that was built at a specific time. Because the recipes in MetaDebian always uh, fetches the latest source code that intended to uh, automatically import the security updates. And reproducible build uh, is one of the essential features in long-term maintenance. So uh, we might find some issues uh, three or four years later after we uh, released our products. In such case, uh, it's useful for finding the source of the issues uh, in, in the old release. And uh, how do we provide this, these features? First, uh, register a release tag 
in Git repositories, uh, every release, and uh, add a new global variables Git rebuild tag into the Poké build system, and uh, reproduce an old image by uh, specifying a tag name uh, using the, this variable. I explain with this uh, simple figure. Um, each line uh, means uh, it's the timeline of the uh, source code and the meta deviant. And the circle means the version numbers of each software. If we released a Linux image at uh, this uh, red line, we need we just uh, register a common uh, release tag. Uh, in this case, the name of the tag is uh, R1 to the uh, released software version. And the second release and the third release also register a release tag by the same way. Then, <coughs> how to reproduce uh, an old re load release image? Uh, first, as a first step, uh, check out the meta revision uh, revision R one. And but uh, the me recipes uh, in meta revision fetch the latest source code by default. So uh, to avoid this. We set the git release tag to R1. Uh, as a result, the meta Debian uh, fetches uh, R1 tagged uh, source code only. And from this slide, I'd like to explain how to register tag and rebuild in the real environment. Uh, first, uh, create a Git repository mirrors uh, with Docker. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, uh, default Git repository, sorry, default Git repository on our GitHub uh, don't permit to push the tag. So uh, we need to create uh, the mirrors first. Uh, we also provide a simple tool uh, to generate uh, mirrors in Docker image. The name of tool is a meta Debian Docker. So you can easily uh, set up the repositories mirror, uh, mirror in the mirror uh, with this tool. Then uh, set up the Pokey and meta Debian. By default, uh, the meta Debian fetches all source code from the GitHub by default. So before we pick, uh, we need to change, override some variables about the Git repository servers uh, and the protocols uh, in local.conf. <clears throat> After these settings, we can uh, bitbase something uh, using the Git repositories on the Docker image. After build, uh, the list of uh, used Git repositories uh, is generated in the build directory with uh, generated image. <coughs> then we can register a tag to the repository uh, with the script git tagger. Dot sh. Uh, this script read uh, the generated list and automatically register a tag uh, to the repository in the list. Now, uh, ready to rebuild. So you, we can uh, easily rebuild the old image uh, by setting the git rebuild tag variable to 
uh, the old release tag name in local.com. And next, uh, I'd like to explain about uh, generation of the summary information. In most uh, product developments, uh, summary information of the open source software is required. Uh, for example, the list of installed software and versions uh, addressed uh, where the source code fetched and licenses. Um, generating such information, summary information, should be uh, automated by a build system. Uh, but uh, Poké and uh, MetaDebian uh, generate only a list uh, installed software uh, by default. So we added uh, some uh, functions uh, to automatically generate uh, such summary information into root file system and SDK recipes. Uh, in Poké's build flow, recipes uh, build uh, the source code and generate uh, binary packages uh, su sorry, such as uh, dev file. The root file system and SDK are generated by uh, installing uh, the such generated binary packages. And we added a hook to uh, hook uh, in the uh, default uh, packaging function. Uh, this hook uh, embeds the additional metadata uh, into uh, the binary packages. Uh, for example, license or source code name uh, and so on. We also added uh, another hook uh, into the recipes uh, just generate the root file system and SDK. Uh, this hook just uh, generates a summary file from uh, metadata uh, in binary packages uh, installed in the target image. And this is the uh, samples of the summary information. Uh, the installed packages are listed in the last column uh, in the package name. And uh, each row uh, has uh, information uh, about the uh, uh, packages. Uh, these features uh, can save uh, some time to generate uh, such a summary information uh, in, the su uh, in the product development. So I'd like to summarize this presentation. And I explained about uh, shared embedded this abstract of the shared embedded Linux distribution and uh, for its DB. Uh, DB is intended to provide uh, especially the long-term maintenance. And this slide uh, focused on the new features. Uh, for example, the package management uh, with uh, the DPKG and apt, and the tag-based source code, which and build. Uh, this is a function to reproduce an old image, release image, uh, using the git uh, reveal tag. And the last one is a summary generation. Uh, it automatically generates summary information of the root, about the root file system and the SDK. Uh, this is the current development state of the DB. <coughs> the base uh, Yocto project version is upgraded to 2.2 .2, uh, development version. And the uh, kernel version is uh, also upgraded to the latest uh, LTS and the LTSI. And some uh, new VSP and recipes uh, are also added. Hmm. 
And about future works, uh, we need to keep uh, the following updates uh, of Poki and Debian. Uh, I, in my understanding, the Yoked project uh, 2.2 will be released uh, as a stable version uh, soon, at the end of the October. So we need to follow with a newer version. And also, we need to support more embedded boards. And we'd like to uh, improve the build time for upgrading uh, target images, because uh, we always need to uh, bit bake and build uh, the all required packages uh, to update uh, some softwares every time. Uh, it's very, uh, it mm, takes too much time. So uh, we'd like to improve the time. And related, uh, there are uh, related uh, interesting work uh, already uh, presented uh, in this uh, embedded Linux conference. Um, the first one is uh, ISA. Uh, ISA. Uh, ISA generates a Linux image uh, from the Debian binary packages with Bitbake. And it's, uh, it uses a bit big, but uh, uh, don't uh, build from the source. Uh, all applications and customized packages are built in the Debian's change route. And Bitbake is used uh, as the, some tools to uh, generate the binary, uh, no, uh, generate the target root file system. And second one is LB. LB also generates the Linux image uh, based on the Debian binary packages. And uh, all specification about the root file system uh, is described in uh, XML file. So it's very interesting and uh, easy to trace. And last one is smart package managers. Uh, this provides a tool uh, to install and install a pre-built uh, packages uh, built by uh, the Bitbake and without uh, rebuilding a lot of packages. So there are several, several similar approaches uh, that use the Debian distribution uh, currently. And we should, uh, I think, we should collaborate uh, with them uh, and find out uh, better ways uh, about the package management. <coughs> and then uh, we are trying to, uh, in the research level, uh, we are trying to generate the recipes uh, automatically from Debian loops to save times to create recipes. Because uh, creating recipes also uh, take time and uh, cost for the maintenance. Uh, so we'd like to find some uh, efficient uh, way uh, to create the recipes. And the last one, uh, we also need to uh, integrate uh, the DB with LTSI a test, a testing environment uh, named Fuego. We'd like to, we'd like to uh, contribute uh, to this project by providing some test cases uh, for the Debian uh, and, and uh, Debian uh, and or uh, providing some other useful uh, frameworks. So we are waiting for your feedback. Uh, the features explained uh, in this slide are just uh, examples. If you have uh, additional uh, issues about the long-term maintenance, um, please uh, let, let us know. And we'd like to uh, consider uh, adding more features to solve uh, such issues. So it's just 
to first. But uh, this is the end of my uh, presentation. And do you have uh, any questions? Oh, toolchain is also based on the Debian source code. And uh, meta toolchain uh, in the Pokey uh, generates the uh, cross toolchain uh, from the upstream source code. But uh, you, if you uh, enable the meta Debian, uh, the BitBake uh, generates the toolchain uh, only uh, using the Debian source code. But uh, metadata to generate the uh, uh, SDK uh, is, uh, uh, from, comes from the Pokey. Yeah. Only the source code is uh, ba uh, based on the Debian. Yes? Can you use uh, Debian repositories once everything is set up? Debian repositories? To, to get packages. Like ah, uh, do you mean the uh, can we install the binary packages from the Debian, Debian repositories? Yeah. Uh, hmm. uh, currently, some packages can install, can be installed, but uh, not tested. And uh, for example, uh, the package BC uh, is very simple packages, very simple command. Uh, it depends on only uh, libc, such, uh, such simple package can be installed into uh, DB directory uh, if uh, the, these architectures are the same. But uh, some other complicated packages, uh, maybe you cannot install it because the uh, metadata uh, in the each uh, metadata in the Debian's binary packages might conflict with uh, our binary packages currently. So, oh, but uh, it is all, um, I think uh, there is some possibilities to uh, reuse uh, some simple packages uh, installing, uh, by installing uh, from the Debian repositories to development purpose. Minorities. Yes, but I personally don't, don't see how this can be done automatically. Yes, mm. it is still uh, in research reverse. <laughs> but uh, mm. so we, uh, I already mentioned, uh, uh, we uh, basically uh, use the same uh, command and options uh, as the Debian rules files in our recipes. Uh, so uh, some commands or uh, some uh, basic dependency, informa uh, dependency information uh, can be found uh, in the Debian rules file or Debian control files uh, automatically uh, by uh, creating some um, script to pass. But uh, yeah, uh, I also think uh, it's too difficult to automate all, all of the process uh, to generate the recipes. But uh, uh, we, I think uh, we can uh, automate uh, the generating the, uh, the um, base of the recipes and then modify something uh, by our hand. For example, about uh, settings for the cross compiling. Currently, we are creating the recipe from nothing, so it takes too much. Thank you very much. Yes. Have you, have you considered using uh, Git C modules in order to avoid the to, to, uh, to add a tag to the uh, Debian repositories? Uh, 
sorry, git, fat, fat to git, git. What? Git modules. So sorry, fit 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 to git git modules. Yeah, we 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 just we just simply use uh, only git command. Yeah, this is a git command. Yeah, no dependencies <laughs> on other modules. Yeah. Currently, the number of recipes uh, is more than 300 or 400. So probably yeah. Poki and MetaPen embedded recipes, but not something like MetaQt5 or other layers with graphical things. And well, currently, uh, uh, we doesn't touch uh, any BB files in the Meta uh, Open embedded so code. What I mean is, what I mean is hmm? for example, do you have recipes to to pick uh, Qt5 libraries from Debian, or, or do you just cover, uh, I don't know, maybe hmm. command line applications, or? Uh, sorry, could you fetch? Uh, uh, the question is, uh, do we have uh, libraries for the graphical? No, uh, recipes, recipes, for, for, for example, uh, graphical? Qt5 or Qt4. Yeah. Ah, I see. Um, uh, about Qt, uh, we are currently still implementing uh, the recipes for the Qt. And uh, uh, about X environment, uh, we we already create uh, some very tiny uh, so you recipes. Are integrating new recipes as as, uh, yeah. as soon as you need them, but mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so there is no not I mean a roadmap so. In this version, we are we are going to support up to here, and in this other version, we are going to support up to here. Okay. Yeah, um, because um, yeah, this recipe creation depends on just our requirement. So it might be uh, a little bit including a zero in your box for this yeah, uh, community. So um, and our main or purpose for using this kind of stuff is mainly for the control controller. Yeah. yeah, that controller doesn't have uh, Why we kind of not strongly focus on the graphical stuff. Okay. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you very much for question. Do you have any other questions? Okay, uh, oh, yes. Map to repositories is about the package you management. Exactly. This one. Okay. Do I understand correctly? So you fetch your upstream sources, uh, Debian sources, then you build uh, the Debian packages and you put these Debian packages to an app repository, and then uh, from this app repository, the root FS is generated. Is it correct? Mm. Ah, yeah. Uh, this. All of this one is 
in the built environment, and uh, all of them are generated by BitBake. Yeah. So this is done in every build environment? Yes, in the build directories of the uh, Pocky. Yeah, Pocky and MetaRabian. I see. So in theory, if you would uh, put this to some central, uh, app repository automatically and check uh, in the fetch rules uh, whether the binary package is already available, then you would solve your rebuild problem, right? At least this is the way we want to do this in ESA. So we want to put the, the packages not into the local app repository, but mm -hmm. onto a server repository. Yeah. And then check in the fetch rule of every source package, uh, whether it was already compiled and is available in the central app repository. And in this way, we would avoid uh, the uh, recompilation of the stuff that was compiled already in previous builds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, this is uh, what we want to do in the near future. Yeah, just to yes. Um, no. Currently, uh, mm, the package management uh, function, uh, functions uh, of the uh, package management from the Pokey uh, available currently. Uh, but we like to uh, mm, uh, provide, implement uh, more features about uh, management uh, the, such uh, binary packages in the root file system, uh, the target environment and the uh, build, build environment. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I think uh, there are uh, a lot of hints uh, in another project, such as uh, ESA or Airbnb. Thank you for questions. No, this works already today for yeah. the one new director. Yeah. The question was whether you can share this between the developers. Yeah, so you can share the, the share the data cache between developers as well. Mm -hmm. Publish it on the network. There's a lot of um there's somewhere in the Yoko project documentation the details on that. I think it's been a few months so I can't do the details but it's good to publish the information on it. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, uh, if you have uh, more questions, uh, please uh, come uh, here and uh, uh, talk with me. Uh, so thank you for attending this presentation.